Recently on my Twitch channel, I've been trying to think of new ways for viewers to interact with my stream. Currently, I have a Hangman game which sits in the bottom corner of my stream that users can play via channel points to guess letters or guess the word and play Hangman that way. Another streamer I mod for, Darkosto, has lights in his background that ch chat can use commands to control. Now, I'm a big fan of that solution and it just so happens I have this nice strip of LED lights that I used to have in my dorm room that used to be controlled via an Arduino. Now, it would be pretty cool if I could make these be controlled by my Twitch chat. Well, I got a Raspberry Pi Zero here, so I think we can just about make that happen. All right, so yes, first things first, I know a Raspberry Pi isn't exactly the best use case for this project. I know Arduino is probably much better suited or even like an ESP32. However, I happen to have a lot of Raspberry Pi Zeros lying around. I don't have a ton of, actually I actually only have one ESP32 laying around. I don't have any Wi-Fi enabled Arduinos laying around. So for me, this is just as simple. This is easy enough for me to use our Raspberry Pi Zero. I like them. It's $5. Why not go ahead and just use this? Secondly, the initial coding setup of this project was all done live on my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash turkeydev. Feel free to follow me there. You can see updates with my projects I do and other things I do that aren't necessarily making it to YouTube videos. But to start it off, we had to first set up the Raspberry Pi to have the necessary libraries and other things I needed to be able to interface with the LED lights. I am using a Python bindings for essentially the Adafruit C library that you would use in the Arduino. That's what I used when I did this initially with Arduino. So I'm just using essentially it's a C binding into Python library that I can use to program this in Python to then interface with the LEDs. After loading up some test example code to both verify that my LEDs worked and that nothing burned down when I ran it, I first moved on to adding in a Flask controller onto the code. Now the Flask is here being used as a way to serve some HTML files which I can then add some support for me myself to control the LEDs that are outside of the Twitch integration outside my stream chat. Currently it's just there to change the color of the LEDs but in the future I might add a kind of web portal a sense to these LEDs for me to change their animations or just change anything about them that I might want. Okay, set to red, set. Hey, that actually works. Wow. Okay, then we go to blue. Give it a second. Hey, wow. That actually works. Kind of call me surprised. <laughs> So now with the web portal working, it's time to move on to the actual Twitch integration, which is to allow the stream to control these LEDs via channel points. Now the initial plan or initial thought behind this was to actually make my own system entirely for this to code up the WebSocket to communicate with Twitch, use the PubSub stuff to all do that magic to retrieve the channel points from redeemed and do that logic there. I started down this path and after a few hours of trying this, we realized that it just wasn't really worth it, uh, mostly due to the fact of the authentication needed a web portal to authenticate with to then get an OAuth token, which was then used to actually access the WebSocket and PubSub system. So instead of going down that entire route and just doing a little too much, I think in my opinion, for this specific project, I decided to use something that we already have existing and that is through one of my mods in my chat of MJR Legends, who is also the dev of the bot I use. So in my stream, the Hangman game that you see in the bottom left there that I alluded to earlier is a channel game which you can play by guessing letters or words through channel points. That entire system was made along with MJR and the entire system of the channel points lies within his bot. Now I can use the WebSocket that his bot provides to already use my existing credentials and my existing system that he set up to do this entire channel point redemption system, receive the channel points that have been redeemed and do that checking all without having to encode an entire new authentication system into this specific project. So with that being said, our final decision was to scrap our initial plan of using WebSockets and the PubSub system straight up and use the already built system that MJR has to leverage it and continue on just like we did for the Hangman. And with that figured out, we only have one more hurdle left and that is dealing with all the threading that is going on within this program. Now in this program as it stands, we have three kind of programs are three kind of threads that are all running together. We have the Flask server that is hosting our web portal. We have the WebSocket that is hosting the ability to receive and update the lights based upon the channel points that are redeemed in my channel. And we have the third, which is the actual logic that is controlling the LEDs because that is on an entirely different system and is just better off being its own kind of separate thread. Now, 
The issue here is that these things don't play well nicely in threads. Flask itself is notorious for not playing nicely in a thread with other things. And unfortunately, the initial system that we're using for the Twitch connection was all using async IO, which again, Flask does not play well with at all. Now I'm gonna gloss over our solution here. If you want to really care, you can go check the code that'll be linked down below. But we ended up solving this in a very unideal way. I'm sure there's probably a much better way to deal with all this, but we just did it in a crude way, but I just kind of wanted this to work. I didn't want to focus on this too much. Again, it wasn't the point of this project. I just wanted to get past it. So that was one more hurdle, but we got through it in the end. And so there we go. We now have a working system. The rest of the stream is actually spent working with different lighting effects you could do that people could redeem for, adding kind of more control over it by being able to specify the colors of stuff and just playing around with what we could figure out to do. Once the stream was over, we now had a working breadboard for our project and everything was actually working according to plan. So the next step was to actually package this up in a much more permanent solution that I could then kind of mount and set up in my streaming setup. Using my very basic level of soldering skills, I was however able to connect everything together and solder it all up into a nice package. The only thing I do want to mention here is that because I'm using Raspberry Pi Zero, I do have to use a logic transformer the led strip that i have is a minimum needs a 3.7 volts on the data pins preferably 5 volts the R the raspberry pi zero however can only provide 3.3 volt logic on its gpio pins so i did need the logic converter to transfer that 3.3 volts to 5 volts but otherwise everything is pretty much just straight up connection grounds datas power pretty simple and after using a little hot glue to secure the logic converter to the case of the Raspberry Pi, the only thing that's left is to utilize some command strips to mount the, the LEDs and the Raspberry Pi case to the wall behind my stream and power it all up and test to make sure it works. And there we go, now it's all mounted. It is up there behind me. As you can see here, it's on. Uh, this is this idle animation, just one LED going around. It's just letting you know what's on and idling. And as you can see here in front of you, this is my Twitch page specifically my Twitch chat over here. And if I go ahead and go to the trip channel points rewards, I can see this change LED color. You can simply just specify a full on color. So FF00 as 00, this is solid red, do this. You see it lights up red behind me. And there's also some other cool things like you can type in rainbow and it'll switch to a rainbow behind me. In addition to the rainbow, there's some other things I've been playing around with that I will hopefully add more animations and whatnot. But one more thing you can do is you can redeem what I call I'm calling color blocks. Basically, it's a way to allow you to have more than one color being showing and doing certain animation. So if I do red, green, and blue here in the color blocks, you'll see it change behind me to green, red, and blue, and they're just kind of going around in the circle. So Again, there you go. This is my now new LED lights that I have in my stream. They are Twitch chat controlled. You can change the colors of them. I will be expanding this over time as time goes. Again, a lot of this is done through my live stream, but this is done for my Twitch live stream. So if you're following me there, twitch.tv is shirkdev. Definitely check me out there. But anyways, that is all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.